Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Okay, so if you were asked, so um, how could I not do it? So uh, there's a lot of information. This is Britney Spears. So this is from birth till now. And, uh, but I got it down to just a short uh, little piece with a couple of pictures thrown in. So I think uh, we'll be okay. Here it comes, Britney Spears, birth till today. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna try to tell you what I know about poor uh, Britney. And it's been quite a ride, pretty amazing. So 1981. Brittany was born on December 2nd at Macomb, Mississippi. She's the second of three kids. Now, what's interesting about her past a little bit, or about her uh, ancestral past, is her grandmother, who had been born in London, but uh, this woman actually committed suicide on the grave of her infant son uh, when uh, Brittany's dad, her son also, was only 13. So in 1984, though for Brittany, at the age of three, she took dance lessons in Louisiana, and at five, she had gymnastics and uh, voice lessons, and she won state level competitions and talent shows later uh, she found out she was supposed she says she found out she knew what she was supposed to do uh, early and then 1989 she and mom go to atlanta to audition for the mickey mouse club uh, she enrolls at the professional performing arts school and mom and the girls so it's uh, there's three kids but just mom and the two girls moved to new york and she was a contestant on star search and cast in several commercials in 1992 she's cast in the mickey mouse club which she went there to audition for with Christina Aguilera, uh, Justin Timberlake, uh, Ryan Gosling, Carrie Russell, and others, of course. And in 1994, however, the show cancels and she returns to Mississippi. Now, in 1997, she's 15, so after stage and TV, she signs with Jive Records, makes a demo to New York execs and uh, four recording labels. Um, they return to Kentwood the same day. Three rejections come, but Jive Records signs her, shapes her voice delivery to unmistakably Britney, and orders a full pop album. She's 15. Uh, 1998, she flies to Stockholm. So I guess she's 16, Sweden, Stockholm, Sweden, and pr with producers and others. And then a U.S. shopping mall tour is what follows with a four-song set and two backup dancers. And uh, then her first concert tour, not a shopping mall tour, but an actual concert tour, was a, an opening act for um, NSYNC. So that's pretty interesting. Now, 1999, uh, her first headlining tour in North America is then, and she's dating Justin Timberlake, and she bought a house in uh, Destin, Florida. Uh, that's cool because I'm from Florida. Now, 2000, Brittany is 19 now, and due to highly publicized personal struggles, the uh, promotion for the album that she's making uh, has been involuntarily placed in uh, on hold, and her life is involuntarily placed in a conservatorship. 20, 2002, at 20 years old, Forbes uh, magazine, I guess it is, says that she's the world's most powerful celebrity. She has her four, first starring role in Crossroads, I guess that's a TV show, and uh, her acting and film uh, was box office uh, success. So her acting and her film uh, status was box office success. Also, she took a six month career break, recorded a new album though, and uh, her relationship with Justin Timberlake ended uh, after that now, that was three years. Then a relationship with front man uh, Fred Durst, who Britney denied uh, there was anything going on there, but he later explained what was going on is this, he was too dab taboo to be associated with uh, Britney Spears. And uh, 2003, Britney, Christina, and uh, Madonna, you know, that's Christina Aguilera. Britney, Christina Aguilera, and Madonna share a kiss. Now, 2004, she marries a childhood friend, Jason Allen Alexander, not a famous person, just a regular guy, at a little white uh, wedding chapel in Las Vegas. But that was an old 55 hours later because Britney lacked understanding of her action and uh, Madonna then reintroduces her to Kabbalah this year she's engaged to dancer Kevin Federline whom she had known for three months um, but they held a ceremony but legally married actually three weeks later after finalizing a prenup um, she takes a career break to start a family uh, 2005 the relationship is a reality TV show Brittany and Kevin which she referred to later as possibly the worst thing she'd ever done 2006, she's driving with son on her lap, no car seat. Of course, a picture gets snapped, and uh, with her holding her son, 
uh, one wheel on the uh, one hand on the wheel and one uh, arm on the baby. And uh, she says it happened because of paparazzi. She regrets the mistake. Then she poses nude for Harper's Bazaar. Then she gives birth to her second son and divorces Kevin in 2007. They have joint custody. Further in 2007 now, her closest aunt dies. Uh, Brittany goes to a drug rehab facility in Antigua for less than a day. Uh, shaves her head, admits herself to another treatment facility, produces a series of pro promotional concerts at House of Blues venues, and then loses physical custody of her son for reasons, I guess her son's actually, for reasons the court says were not relevant to the public. She sued also by Louis Vuitton over her music video where her car interior had bootleg Louis Vuitton cherry blossom fabric, and she began a relationship with paparazzo Adnan Galib. 2008 now. She's 27 years old. Um, she refuses to relinquish custody of her sons and is hospitalized at Cedar sinai uh, Hospital. The police note she seemed to be under the influence of something. Her visitation rights are suspended. Kevin is given sole physical and legal custody. She's committed to the psychiatric ward of Ronald Reagan Medical on involuntary psychiatric hold. The court places a conservatorship led by her father and attorney Andrew Wallet with complete control of her assets. Five days later, she's released and uh, she gets some kid visitation rights. Now, 2009, she and dad get a restraining order against former manager Sam Lufty, ex-boyfriend Adnan Galeb, uh, if that's how that's pronounced, attorney John Erdley, and uh, they're accused of conspiring to gain control over her affairs. Now, 2011, she's engaged to longtime boyfriend Jason Trawick, formerly her agent, who gained control of her and became a co-conservator with her dad in 2012. 2013, Jason and uh, Spears and Jason Trawick end. He's removed as the co-conservator. Her dad is the sole one left. She begins dating David Lucado. They split, though, in 2014. She dates TV producer Charlie Ebersol. They split in 2015. 2016, Spears says she suffered from crippling anxiety in the past and motherhood. Uh, helped her overcome it, and she began dating Slumber Party Music's video co-star Sam Asgari. They met on set. I don't know. Sounds like the same pattern to me. Twenty nineteen, and I did a dumb thing. I highlighted this in pink, and I can hardly see it. But twenty nineteen is announced. Um, there's an indefinite uh, hiatus that she's taking. She cancels the Las Vegas tour. Uh, residency, the Las Vegas residency is canceled after her dad's near fatal colon rupture. She enters a psychiatric facility and a voicemail from her former legal team, somebody there, says dad canceled the residency because she wouldn't take uh, medication and he'd been holding her in a facility against her will after she violated in a driving rule. Plus, her conservatorship should have ended in 2009. So, a judge orders a professional evaluation of the conservatorship, and ex Kevin gets a restraining order against dad and a longtime care manager and temporary replaces. Oh, no, what it is is a longtime care manager temporary replaces dad as conservator. So this is 2019. Uh, 2020, a court appointed lawyer says she wants the conservatorship to reflect her wishes and lifestyle, she being Brittany, and uh, wants to have her choice of permanent conservator and wants to replace her dad with a fiduciary. But, Bessemer Trust becomes co-conservator with her dad, and this is extended into 2021. The New York Times obtained court documents where she tried for years to end the abusive uh, conservatorship. Um, she said uh, something like, I've lied and told the whole world I'm okay and I'm happy, but I'm in shock. I'm traumatized. I'm so angry. It's insane, and I'm scared of people. I don't trust people, and with what I've been through, don't force me to do anything. I can't live a full life. Jeez. So, continuing in 2021, she's 39 or 40, and Bessemer Trust wants to withdraw from the conservatorship. They have been misled, thinking the conservatorship was voluntary. Spears' 25-year-long manager resigned, and her court-appointed lawyer filed documents to be dismissed. So, the court approves hiring attorney Matthew S. Rosengard, who files to remove a dad as conservator and replaces him with a CPA in Wooden Hills, California. And that's where we're at. Okay, so these are good. These are the Taro Mucha. This is another Los Scarabio, but they come in a cool case, which I love. And these cases are so useful when they stand up like this, because you can take the little booklet out, and you still have the cards kept nicely there. And these have an, a good booklet. I mean, it's, it's cool-looking paper. 
Uh, it's got uh, interesting uh, suggestions for divination of the cards, and uh, you know it's la it'll it's lasty. So we have that. Now the cards I'll show you before we get started are easy to use. They're, they're beautiful on the back, and uh, they're really nice uh, on the front. And they're not too hard to interpret. I mean, they're typical uh, Rider weight uh, iconography, and uh, you can figure out what they mean without very much trouble at all. So, you know, if you don't get to look at a lot of cards, tune in to me, and there you're going to see some kind of cards, because I'm getting them all the time. And um, at one point, we'll have to start to give some of these away, because I've just got too many. But uh, not now, because I love everything I've got. I'm very greedy. But uh, hopefully these cards will give us some good answers. And we'll get working on that. Taro Mucha. Done in the uh, style of the artist uh, Alphonse Mucha. Google it. So, that is a full life, and she's only 40. Good grief. So, um, I guess we need to see, um, is she crazy? Yeah, let's just ask that. Is she, is she nuts? So, I've got the uh, Nine of Cups, which is uh, Wishes Fulfilled. I've got the uh, Thirteen, which is uh, Death. And I've got uh, five, six, seven, eight, which is an eight of what? Eight, 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 eight. Oh, it's strength. Okay. So, wishes fulfilled, end of the cycle, and she's strong. That's, that's good. I like that. But that's not the reading. So, let's uh, put these back in here and get the reading going. So, yeah. So, is she? Has she really been crazy? I think just all these conservatorships were just a way to control her. And these uh, unsophisticated people who were guiding her around, meaning her mom and her dad, just thought, well, she's nuts. Let's uh, put her Let's uh, put her in uh, psychiatric. And, and then that got to be a habit. Whenever she behaved or misbehaved, uh, that's what they decided to do. Well, she's acting crazy. Let's just uh, lock her up. Lock her up. She's nuts. So we'll see if that's the case. We're going to take six cards right off the top, and this will be for the first part of the full Celtic cross. One, two, three. Is she crazy? Four, five. I think she's just... A uh, inexperienced. We'll see what the cards say. So, let's take these, get them lined up. I love these cards. I haven't used them in a long time. Is that inverted? It is inverted. Look at that. Uh, well, okay, it is what it is. Okay, so the uh, signifier card for this reading is then the King of Swords. And the King, you know, Swords are truth, rules, um, um, and justice, hopefully. Sometimes it's medical. But the King of Swords here is the uh, the fellow who is all about uh, making things happen the way he wants them to happen. He is in charge. So he's going to enforce the rules. He's going to see to it that justice is, is uh, procured in his way. And uh, so that's what we've got as the signifier here is the uh, king of swords. I don't know if that's her or somebody around her or is this medical. But let's see what the challenge is. The challenge to the king of swords is... Um, 20, which is that the sun or is that the world? I'm going to have to double check. And my cheat sheet doesn't, um, okay, that's the, um, is it judgment? It's judgment is what it is. So judgment is what's the challenge to this king of swords. So this king of truth and justice is balanced against judgment. Let's see how that works out. The base of the reading then is the 10 of uh, wands. Wands are action and movement. Uh, uh, getting things done, and uh, this Ten of Wands, this uh, maiden is just really um, distressed about uh, all this that she had, this bundle she has to move forward. The past of this reading is the uh, five, five, uh, so this is the Hierophant, and the Hierophant or is usually, uh, it's, it's the governing structure, so this could be the conservatorship, this could be her dad, who's really pushed all this, I think, the whole way. Uh, so in the past has been this these rules that she has had to live by and in the sky of this reading is the uh, uh, Two of Cups. Two of Cups are partnerships um, you know oaths sworn um, and uh, so this is what's in the sky for the best thing she can hope for are, are partnerships. Let's, I, let's, I'm going to say that they're true partnerships would be the best that she could hope for and we'll see how the rest of this works out and this card is inverted and that really worries me but it's the outcome of this whole first part and it is well if it was upright okay if it was upright it'd be the tower card which is a total calamity and uh, things coming to uh, a, a, a halt a jaw a jarring halt uh, i have to interpret this inverted in my own way and you know i'm not secured by inverted interpretations but i'm going to say if this uh, is a jarring uh, halt, I'm going to say this is still um, 
uh, calamitous, but uh, not to the extent uh, that it would have been if this were upright. That's my judgment on this. Take it or leave it, but that's what I'm going to say this is. So for the first part, we've got the King of Swords challenged by judgment, uh, underpinned by this little big low that has to be pushed forward, all these rules that had to be uh, abided by, and, uh, and remember the question was, is she's nuts? And then in, in the sky is uh, making partnerships. And I think she's had to make partnerships with these people um, that have caused her to appear crazy, but she's just inexperienced. And so this calamity that the tower could be is uh, not quite as bad as it might have been if that were the case. Then we're gonna say, what are the last four cards of this? What is the self, self, self of this question? Is Britney Spears legally sane, okay? Is she okay? Can she handle herself? Her finances, her life. The signifier card of that is, look at that, it's the Page of Cups. And this Page of Cups might surprise you. Look at the fish drove right out here. So this Page of Cups is bringing to the court a message of compassion, okay? It says, look, consider what's happened here. So he's bringing a message of compassion. But that's in the environment of what? It's in the environment of the uh, Five of Cups, which is, yeah, Having uh, three cups empty, a couple full, you're looking down, you say, look at all that I've lost, but look, I've got something left here. I should probably turn around and carry on. So, yeah, this this uh, page of compassion is in the spirit of, let's put this behind us and carry on. The hopes and the fears for this, then, are the uh, seven of cups, which is illusion and delusion. You know, just all these choices to make. It has been a big delusion this whole time. And I would say this is the hope, uh, this is the fears, is that we get out, we can't get out of this illusion and delusion she's been in. And then the final outcome for all of this is going to be right here. And this is a five, six, seven, eight. It's strength. And that was one of the cards that fell out of the, of the deck in the beginning. So this is a revalidation. So this is strength. Is it uh, the strength? She will have the strength to carry on and get this done. Yeah, she's going to be all fine, and she's not nuts. She's just a victim of misinterpretation of an inexperienced woman's plunge into drugs and alcohol and fast life and being rushed around to have this big life that she never matured into. Yeah, strength is what's the key. And if you look at that last picture, um, then it kind of looks like, yeah, uh, with this, this new part of that she has, maybe this is where she'll find uh, her grown-up self. Uh, but uh, so uh, just to repeat the whole thing quickly again, we started out with the King of Swords. Somebody tried to shove some some rules down her throat, and it was uh, challenged by judgment. Okay, so that uh, those rules were being shoved down with these judgments against her, and they were bad judgments. As a matter of fact, we don't always have to assume that this is good judgment. These are bad judgments. And then the uh, base of that was this uh, Ten of uh, Wands, which is having to carry that heavy bundle. Uh, all by herself, really. She just pushed to perform. And having to, with the, in the past here, abide by the rules of the hierophant, the rules of the uh, governing body, her dad, and whomever who were in her way. And then the uh, in the sky of this was the two of cups, which is lovers. And this is partnerships. And look at these, you know, just having to partner yourself with these people and keep performing and get this job done. Uh, the likely outcome of the whole thing was the tower inverted, which I said it means it's not going to be quite as bad as it could have been if this were not inverted. Uh, the self of the whole thing was the page of cups. There's a surprise here of compassion and emotion. He's bringing it to us, and uh, they're telling us with this five of cups, look, l forget about what's spilled. Don't cry over spilt milk. Let's go pick up our two cups that are still full and carry on. And uh, the likely um, hopes and the fears of all this was the illusion and delusion, the seven of cups. So let's try to blow through that. And uh, what's going to ha help us do that is the final card, the final outcome, which is strength. And this woman has it, and she can do it if she just gets someone by her side who is not um, trying to sap all her money out of her. That's what I think. I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.